Thank you for being here. My name is Ayla Nova, and it is an honor to share the practice of Yoga Nidra with you. In this practice, you will be guided to a profound discovery of trust within, a journey of deep rest with self-awareness, leading you to a place where your body relaxes completely then your mind remains aware. The revered spiritual teacher and philosopher, Krishnamurti, eloquently reminds us, the more you know yourself, the more clarity there is. Self-knowledge has no end. You don't come to an achievement You don't come to a conclusion. It is an endless river. Let this practice be a sanctuary where you cultivate trust through self-discovery and nurture a sense of peace within. Before we begin, I would like to announce that on February 10th, 2024, at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, I will be offering a special live Lunar New Year event. Make sure you sign up to the newsletter, as details will be released in the coming days. You can access this newsletter through alanova.com which you will find in the show notes. Now let's begin. Wherever you may choose to practice, please rest with all the comforts you desire. Lying on your back, ensuring your spine is in alignment and your legs comfortably apart. Relax your hips. Allow your arms to naturally rest by your sides. Shoulders soften. And your palms are skyward. Or alternatively, onto your heart or belly. Ensure your forehead is slightly above the chin. Elongating and aligning the back of the neck. Now allow for your awareness to move inward by closing your eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. Shavasana. Take a moment to make any adjustments that you need so you can remain comfortable throughout the practice. Let each sensation be a guide allowing for you to release any attachment, observing all that arises. During all states of consciousness, the benefits will be received. Remaining aware and awake is your choice. And if you choose to sleep, I wish you a restful sleep. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. Allow your breath to flow organically. Not manipulating it in any way. Bringing awareness to how it enters and exits the body. Observe the flow of your breath. If it is shallow, allow it to be shallow. And if it is deep, let it be deep. Let go of the desire to label. Let go of the expectations, the preconceived notions. Only observe the effort involved in your breathing. Without judgment. Allow yourself to be present with what is. What is present in this moment. And 
person you are being invited to trust. Trust that it is safe to move into a non-reactive state, sitting with your own experience and placing your awareness into your higher self. Become a witness to all that arises. If you start to experience any sensations throughout the body, allow yourself to rest in the experience with the knowing all that has the nature to arise has the nature to pass away. Witness your capacity to remain still. You have made the choice to remain still. Sense yourself begin to surrender into the space around you. What is it that you're still holding on to? What can you let go of? Release. Set free. Discover your body's ability to hold space for openness and also its ability to hold restraint. Scan your body from head to toe and become aware of any tension you may be holding and notice. Can you become 10% more relaxed? Releasing the tightness, releasing the tension, releasing anything that holds you back from becoming fully relaxed. Allow your awareness to travel towards the clearing between the brows. Draw your attention to this space. Place your focus here. This center is Chidikesh, the sixth chakra, Agna chakra, home to your intrinsic wisdom, insight, and intuition. This is where your Sankalpa awakens, more powerful than any wish or desire. The Sankalpa is a seed in this present moment, existing in all the dimensions of your reality. Invite this declaration of I am to be instilled by the energy that illuminates your third eye. If the message remains unclear, see how some of the following Sankalpas sit with you. I am at rest. I am grounded in my truth. I am peaceful in my knowing. I am authentic. I am free to decide. I trust. Or simply, I am. Within the mind, repeat it three times, letting each repetition resonate within you, touching every aspect of your essence.
Allow the vibration of your sankalpa to spread through your entire body, filling every space with its presence. And as you do this, allow for its vibration to become still, quiet and peaceful as you begin to let it go. You are now entering Anamai Kosha, the sheath of your physical being. Allow your awareness to gently drift to the periphery of your body, feeling the contours of your form begin to soften. Let my voice become your voice leading you through the exploration of your physical self. You are settling into a realm of deep relaxation. With every exhale, feel a comforting heaviness spread across your body. As you are guided through each part, remain motionless, still, observing your body, feeling and listening, staying alert and present. First, place your awareness onto the right hand, aware of the presence of your right hand thumb. Index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger. Your whole right hand, whole right hand, whole right hand. Awareness moving up your right arm, past your elbow, to your shoulder. Aware of the right side of your chest. In the center of your chest. The right side of your waist. And the right hip. And the right side of the pubic bone. And the whole right leg. Towards your right knee your ankle, right ankle, right ankle, awareness of your right foot, the top of the foot, the sole of the foot, the right big toe. Second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe, all five toes. Gently move your awareness now to your left hand. Observing your left hand thumb. 
and sensing the presence of your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, the whole left hand, whole left hand, whole left hand. Your attention flows up your left arm, past your elbow to the shoulder, becoming aware of the left side of your chest. In the center of your chest. Left side of your waist. Your hip. Left side of the pubic bone. Aware of the whole left leg, the upper leg, past your knee, to your ankle, left ankle, left ankle. Awareness traveling into your left foot, on the top of the foot, on the sole of the foot, and each toe, the left big toe, second toe, third toe. Fourth toe, little toe. All five of your left toes. Now begin to embrace the sensation of both feet. Both legs. hips, your abdomen, chest, and back, feel the presence of your shoulder blades, both arms, your neck, aware of your whole head, the scalp, forehead and eyes, the right ear, and your left ear. Your nose. Sensing both cheeks. Mouth. Whole mouth. Whole mouth. Lips. Tongue. Teeth. your chin. Be conscious of your entire face, your whole head, neck, your spine from the base of your head 
to your tailbone, your entire back, your entire torso, all of your limbs. Now gently bring your awareness to the heart center. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your chest with each breath. And the subtle beat of your heart. Let this awareness of your heart fill you with peace and calm. Bring your attention to the points of contact between your body and the floor. Sensing the back of your head, shoulders, arms, back, calves and heels all meeting the surface below you. Allow your entire body and your whole heart to be filled with awareness. Fully feeling the connection and support beneath you. Prana my kosha. Follow your awareness to prana, your chi, your nadis, your energy, the river of life that flows through you. As you rest in complete stillness, energy is moving in you around you, of you. Prana not only found in the breath, but through your whole body. Allow for your breath to be a connection to your energy, sensing it as it moves through your nostrils, noticing the temperature the rise of the belly, the rise of the chest, as your lungs fill. And as you exhale, the fall of the belly, the fall of the chest, the emptying of the lungs. Connecting your next inhale without any manipulation of breath. Begin to internally say the sound so within the mind's eye. Sending the breath to travel inward. Connecting with your exhale. Externally repeat the sound hum. And continue to repeat this mantra, so hum, as your breath enters and exits the body. Inhale so, exhale hum. Inhale so, exhale hum. Continue with this mantra as you breathe in and out. And you will be called back in a few moments.
Let go. Steep in your stillness, allowing yourself to simply be aware and awake in your whole being, your whole body, your whole self. Moving into the emotional body, Manamaya Kosha. This is a fluid space of equanimity where you are in harmony with all opposing forces. A deep knowing that you are in a space where exploring these opposing sensations is a part of the human experience. Remain in the seat of the witness and begin to experience what it is to be open. Draw into the subconscious void what it means for you to be open. Allow yourself to sit with whatever may be present. Observe from the seat of the witness. Openness. 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 Now, release this experience with all the stories that come along with it. Allow them to drift away from your body, away from the space around you. Let it all go and return to this very moment in awareness where you are neutral and unaffected. Remaining in the seat of the witness, move into the experience of being closed. Draw in from the subconscious void the sensation of being closed. Sense gratitude, and then begin to observe your experience. Closed. Closed. Closed.
Release your attachment to these sensations, messages, and realizations. Return back to a neutral space of the room. Sense yourself release all attachment and invite back equanimity emotionally, physically, and energetically in your whole being, in your whole body, in your whole self. You are now entering into the realm of Vijana Maikosha, a space where intuitive wisdom and inner knowing reside. Imagine this as a place where dreamlike images, subtle scents, and soft sensations naturally come to life and gently fade away. This is your space to observe the flow of your inner consciousness. Experience and then release. A snowflake on your nose. The sounds of crashing waves. A bouquet of colorful flowers. An older couple holding hands. Fresh banana bread. Pouring rain. Buddha's round belly. Buddha's round belly. Buddha's round belly. A grandmother's hug. A warm teacup. A snake biting its tail. An old book. A tingle of joy. A magnificent sculpture. A magnificent sculpture. A magnificent sculpture. As you rest in full body awareness, sense yourself in a tranquil sculptor studio, surrounded by tools and a block of raw, unshaped stone. You are the sculptor, and with each decision and action, you shape this stone. Reflect on the past experiences that felt like chips and cuts. Times of heartbreak. Lost friendships. Financial setbacks. Unreached expectations. Acknowledge these marks not as flaws but as an essential part of your creation. Each chip carved away what you no longer needed, revealing more of your true form. Now with the chisel of wisdom in the hammer you hold of your own resilience, begin to sculpt. With each strike you are learning growing, and building trust within yourself. Carve out a form that resonates within your inner strength and beauty. As you sculpt, notice how the stone transforms. 
what was once rough and unrefined becomes a figure of elegance and strength. And this sculpture is a representation of you, shaped by experience, yet standing strong and resilient. Visualize the details you're adding. The curves of confidence. Lines of self-trust. These are all qualities you've honed through your experience. And you sculpt a heart. The weathered is open and wise. Step back and admire your work. This statue. Your creation. Standing tall is a testament to your journey. An expression of trust within yourself built from all that you have learned and all that you have overcome. In this moment of reflection, connect with your Sankalpa, your innermost intention. Let it be like a signature on your sculpture, the final touch that aligns you with your true self. Repeat your Sankalpa now three times as you read it. I am. Whatever it may be. I am. Declare it to be true. I am. As you prepare to leave, know that you carry the essence of this sculpture within you, a reminder of your strength, your resilience, and your ability to trust yourself in the path ahead. Gently bring your awareness back to the present. Feel your body. Begin to sense the rhythm of your breath and the space around you. Returning to your whole self and to your physical form. Noticing the surface you rest on and the sounds around the room. Sensing your skin, how air rests on it, and your face, how peace is placed on it, and your heart, how it beats life and love and acceptance. You are loved just as you are. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Hari Om Tat Sat Hari Om Tat Sat
Hariyom Tat Sat. Let your first movements back into the room be gentle. If you wish to sleep, you may drift off to sleep. Otherwise, begin to flutter your fingers and your toes. Rotate your ankles and your wrists. Trust your intuition. And when you're ready, Slowly guide yourself onto your side, hugging your knees tightly into your chest as you begin to sense gratitude. And in your own time, move to a seated position where you may consider meditation, reflection, Gratitude or journaling is a way to close your experience. Thank you for being here. I always love reading your comments and insights on YouTube and Instagram. Your support does not go unnoticed. By following, subscribing, liking, and sharing Yoga Nidra and beyond. You help me extend these practices even further. I am sending a special thank you to those of you who have offered the gift of gratitude or who give thanks on YouTube. It is my wish to share this practice full time, and with your sponsorship and support, you make even my dreams become a reality. If you have not already done so, make sure to sign up to the Ayla Nova Nidra newsletter, as there will be more opportunities to work with me virtually, through workshops, courses, retreats, and private one-on-one -on -one sessions. Go to aylanova.com to learn more. Rest well, be well, namaskar.